Well, all right, Dave here, and thanks for joining me on the channel. I do appreciate you checking in and taking a look at what I've been doing. Um, the rig is really coming together. I've added a couple little things, and I got more planned for uh, next week. So be sure to tune back in next weekend. But today, we're going to be taking a look at my continued fascination with the classic sports cars and um, historic cars. What I call 60s lightweights at Riverside Short. You know, Opals, Romeos, some of the uh, Alans, MGBs, Corbairs, and this new mod that I, I did pay for. It's a Triumph TR6, or I mean, tri Triumph uh, GT6. Um, we're going to be. Uh, so let's take a look and. Uh, get to it on at Riverside. Once again, if you can't tell, I really like these classic sports cars. We are at Riverside and I am in that brand new GT6 mod. We're here for four laps. And uh, we are off. Set. Wow, man, this is so cool. We got a bunch of cars to try to pass. I don't know. If... Look at that sprite next to me. Let's see if we can spread out a little bit and I can pass some people. This new wheel is working really good. Let's see if I can get around some of these guys. Whoa. There's another one of those GT6s right next to me. Oh, I'm being squeezed over. This is an exciting race. These guys. Let's we'll see what happens here. Look at that Lotus Cortina. A little square thing up ahead. Oh, we're on the dirt a little bit. Come on, give me some RPMs. Oh yeah, oh, an Alfora, that's a nice looking car, we got full throttle, I don't know, okay we got enough room I think, we're up against this Corvair, man those things are sharp looking old cars, we're going to have to brake in order to get into this, okay we're alright. that okay so I don't know but we're up probably into maybe we're in the top half anyway now we're starting to feel it boy this track is special give it a little bit of break get into it all right we're catching up these S's are so cool if we can downshift right here. And we'll catch up with the rest of the pack. I just love these classic sports cars. Wow, man, I was right on the red line there. Get past this Elon, maybe. We're right on his butt. GTA coming up on it. Look at the quality of this mod. Really digging it. It is so cool. Instruments are spot on. Now this car only has 395 million miles. Hit the brakes just a little bit. Let's see if we can get right up on this guy. Oh man, side by side is not the best thing to be doing. Come on. Oh, we're gonna have to go inside, outside on him. Come on. We lost a little bit of time. Because he wasn't uh, full throttle down. Maybe we can get him here. Side. Hit the brakes just a little bit. Whoa, we're sliding. Okay, we're good. Coming over 
over here. Full throttle. Oh man. Down. This is it. Hit the brakes. Downshift and downshift again. Okay, here comes. Oh, I think we got him. No, I did. Uh, brand new thing to the rig. I think it'll be helpful if you're if you like these simulators. I put that little uh, webcam, which is looking at the. Uh, it's in the bottom uh, left corner. And it's just kind of taking a good look at the uh, way the platform is acting. 6,500, good. We're on the last lap now, or at least the leader is, so he's up ahead. But uh, I hope you like it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it unless somebody says, nah, I don't like it. Um, I don't know about the view, but uh, maybe the view isn't the best, but uh, maybe I'll switch that around a little bit. But man, this mod is great. I really like it. Full throttle right up against the fence. Yeah, we're way behind, but we did start in last, so look at this track. These bumps right here, boom, boom, yeah. And feel those, hit the brakes just a little bit, get into this corner. Now yeah, we can get those asses. Uh, we are definitely hauling the mail now. Woo! Look at this thing go. Hit the brakes. Downshift. Downshift, and this thing handled really well. Full throttle, maybe we can catch up. There's one guy up ahead, I don't know who he is, but man. This thing. Okay, so, uh. Oh, there's two cars off. It's an MGB. Yep, GT. Two of them. Ah, man, they took each other out. Too bad. Alright, well. Maybe we'll drive one more car for this uh, particular race. Ah, I love these classics. Uh, classic sports cars or historic racing. This isn't all that much historic, but yeah, if you had never had one of these cars, you would definitely be. And you could race it. It sure would be a great time. Now, I was not able to download a Triumph TR6 model like I wanted to. Still have been, haven't been able to find a decent one. That was it. The race is over. Now, I did fix, or at least I found a way to fix this, uh, this thing so you get a cool down lap after. And there is a little button, to, uh, button box to check to say, uh, hey, you can... Uh, after the race is over, you get a sort of like a 20% throttle cooldown lap. And that, <laughs> there goes one of those MGBs. Yeah, listen to this thing. Good motor. Alright, well, this is Riverside Slow. That was fun. Okay, so we are in the MGB GT. I used to have a couple of these cars. Uh, not the GT version. Oh, crap. What's wrong with that guy? Two of those guys died. I hope they don't just sit there on the starting grid the whole time. But I had uh, one that had uh, a header and two Weber carburetors. It was pretty cool. Look at this Lotus Cortina. Let's see if we can get by without causing too much chaos. Downshift. Let's get by this guy, maybe. Slide in. Right up in back of this sprint. Okay, now we're next to that uh, Corvair. Oh, and we're right in back of another GT Triumph. Look at that thing. What a pretty car. I'm glad I bought the download, the mod on that thing. Alright, we hit the brakes. Hopefully nobody bashes into the back of us. We're doing okay. Whoa, I don't know what he's doing. Europa.
Well, all right. This, this is pretty cool. Because these cars are real close. And it's not like you're just following one because they all have different uh, handling. They're, I got the AI turned up to about 96% just to kind of, so I could pass a few of them for the video. But man, this is pretty cool. Oh man, oh, dudes. Oh, it's those guys on the middle of the track. That's their problem. Okay, so here we are up against another MJB GT. Uh, we can get in here. We're doing all right. All right. We are now at New Jersey and same field. Uh, let me see if I can turn on my lights. Okay, I, I can turn on my lights. Um, we are in last place, but we are in the downloaded Corvair. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, okay. Boy, this thing has some power. A lot of people in the in the race right now. Whoa! They're all going crazy. This thing, so this is a mid-engine car. And it's uh, just a handful. It really likes to slide. This one is the tuned version. It seems to be just a bit on the uh, high horsepower side. So we should be able to get right through this crowd. Look at these things. I'm barely pushing any revs here. Whoa, this thing sounds good though. Whoa, and that mid-engine. We can look it up. They had, uh... There was a lot of different people that did have this car. And, I mean, there wasn't this big horsepower version, but... Whoa, man. <laughs> I think this is too much horsepower for this... This particular racetrack. And this these kind of cars come. I am starting to wind it out a little bit. Whoa. Oh, oh dude, I blew my motor. All right, let's try this again. So we are in the Corvair Monza, and we are now at New Jersey. Uh, see how this thing goes it looks like a pretty decent model now this isn't the tuned version this is the sort of standard version it would help if it had a tachometer but this is a mid-engine offering from a Chevy back in the day So it does handle a little bit differently. There's a lot of cars on the track here. There's another Mons up ahead. Whoa, that dude. Whoa, caught that slide. Be careful of these mid-engine cars. Well, actually, this is a rear engine. It's I don't know if it's rear or mid. It's in the back. I don't seem to be catching them very quick, but uh, we'll see what happens. Another exciting race. Sure would help if this thing had a tachometer. Let's see what, how it does on this big turn. Should be okay. like a 90 miles an hour that pack is way up there though ah, 
that's handling okay. Okay, so for the final race here of the afternoon on this short course uh, small sports cars deal, we're at Laguna Seca and we are in the Triumph TR4 and we're going to see if we can get this thing going. Wow, man. Lots of cars here. Oh, I don't want to be passing on the uh, pit lane. Oh, man. I like this wheel. Even though these cars don't provide a ton of force feedback because, you know, they're very lightweight. But uh, we're in last place. Oh, I can feel that. That's good. Get by this bug eye sprite. Oh, we're sliding. There we go. We're not doing too bad. We should have had a little more horsepower. Maybe I get sideways just a little bit. Yeah, okay, that'll work. And this is a very short race, just a couple laps. Whoa, dudes, all of you guys. Oh, <laughs> the AI just slammed on their brakes. Oh, I think, oh, I apologize to that guy. Knocked him out, didn't mean to. All right. Whoa. Down the corner, screw oh. VR. Not too bad. Yeah, we're starting to slide just a little bit. Come on. All right, so man, this is actually pretty fun with this thing. Whoa, come on. Whoa, that wasn't good at all. All right, so maybe we can catch up. I don't look, it look like anybody's really running away with it. We're on two of three. Coming on up here. We're gonna have to start slamming on the brakes pretty soon. Oh, not good. Those big red ones. Come on, baby. Maybe we can catch up to this Lotus Aurora or Europa. Yeah. I think we got him. Doing pretty good here. There we go. We got him. Coming right up on him. Inside. Full speed. Gotta hit the brakes. Whoa. That would hit two gears, but only one's good enough for now. You can hear the tires squealing. We're doing pretty good. Come on with this Corvair. to get in the dirt full speed come on now hit the brakes and downshift two gears we get right into first gear maybe we can get by this oh man that's a pretty looking model I don't know if we got enough horsepower to get past him but we're trying our best look at that thing better hit the brakes Wow, mid-engine Kai. Uh, 
can hear the wheels squealing. Fairly close race in here. Use the rear to get us around. Get it right in the rev range. Now we hit him. Got a good exit. Come on, right up against this Porsche. I think we'll be all right. Hopefully we can get past him. Give it some back, back end, a little bit. We're past him, right at the top of the RPM range. All right, there we go. We're kind of low on the RPMs, but we're past those two guys. This is the last little bit of a lap, final lap. This has been pretty fun. Whoa, don't just stop. It's not that steep. Come on, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, that didn't feel good at all. Whoa, this guy's driving like a maniac. Come on. Whoa. That's what you get when you slow down too hard for no particular reason. But all right, I'm in my triumph. Yeah, this is okay. Come on. Maybe we'll win. This is it. All right, we're doing good. This is it, the race is over. Okay, so we'll do a cool down lap real quick. Take a good look at Laguna Seca. Oh, not too bad. This is so cool, I've been able to do a cool down instead of just slamming on your brakes. Look at these guys. Yeah, this is a nice track. Well, this has really been fun and, and uh, like I said, oh, actually I didn't tell you, did I? So. The, uh, coming up on the next video, I have ordered a, uh, some parts to do a, do a wind simulator so, so I can add wind. Uh, so it's going to be dependent on, on the, uh, speed that we're going. The faster we go, you know, the better or the more force the wind, uh, picks up. It'll be blowing right in my face in VR. It should be very cool. And uh, I can't wait to do that. I ordered it last week, but uh, not all the parts arrived. Uh, the Noctua fan, you know, that, that came in. But uh, the ducting and uh, the part for the Arduino didn't come in. So, um, so we're going to be looking at that, and I hope you join me. So next weekend, we we'll put a little a little series together on that, and then that should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at this guy. Is this the guy I crashed out? Yeah. Oh, he's mad too. <laughs> he's looking for me. All right. Well, I hope you had fun. Uh, if you give, get a chance to download any of those cars, I'm not going to link them all, but I'll link a few of them up. Let's take a look at this corkscrew. You're just flying here, and then all of a sudden, you just... Oh, God. You, you, just in VR, without the motion going crazy, it is pretty darn cool. All right, guys. Well, this is Dave, and uh, have a great weekend, and have a good start to 2021. Yeah. Dave's out.